My first issue that I would like to raise um, stems not from an Alaska-related concern, but uh, we in Alaska have connection and affinity for those who uh, also are not part of the continental uh, United States. I was recently out in the Pacific. I was in Guam in the northern Mariana, Marianas, as well as in Palau and the Marshall Islands. And one of those concerns as it relates to our veterans is their ability to access uh, health care in these remote locations. So it's not unlike what we face in Alaska. Guam has a VA hospital. The rest of the islanders either need to go to Guam or to Hawaii. Uh, Senator Schatz is okay with that. But they've asked me to ask you what needs to be done to certify the local hospitals on those islands to provide care to our veterans um, so that they don't have to go to the expense of, of traveling such long distances? What other options might be out there? I also have a letter that I uh, would like to submit to you all, and I'll do it through the record here, from the president of Palau, um, Remen so who says that when the people from Palau serve in uh, the armed forces, when they come back to Palau after completion of their service, they lose many of the benefits that are provided uh, to them under the GI Bill, uh, specifically to uh, the issue of housing loans. So I have been asked, and I will share this letter with you, what these options are on making these veterans eligible for these GI benefits, whether they live in the United States or they return uh, to our homeland. So in the interest of time, I'm putting that out to you. I would like those answers. I know that uh, the, the delegates from the islands would like to see that as well.